Let me show you how you can bring uh, the artwork you created in Krita into Canva, the free to use online graphic design tool. Together we'll craft a personalized greeting card that will without any doubt uh, delight your friends and family. Let's get started. I have two images on separate layers. Each image needs to be saved separately as a PNG file. To save an image as a PNG file, you need first to turn off the background layer. Next, turn off one of the images. Go to Save As. In the uh, Save As Type section, find the PNG option. Name your file and click Save. As a quick reminder, when this window appears, click OK as there is no need to change the default settings. Now that the first image has been saved, you can turn it off and turn on the next one. Back to Save As. As you can see, it remembers our last save, so we don't need to find the PNG format again, it's already there. Just rename the file, click Save and OK. Always organize your projects in a folder. As you can see, I have two PNG files I saved and my original Krita file. I would advise you to always keep a Krita file. This way, if you need to make any changes to your project and create more images, for example, you can get back here and do so. This is Canva. When you start, stick to the free version. Unless, of course, you are a professional designer, then you can upgrade to the Pro version. If you haven't already joined, do so by clicking on the button Sign Up. You can join using your Google account, your Facebook account, or continue by using an email address. To see more options, click on the button Continue Another Way. Here is a list of more options on how to join. Let's say you decided to join using your email. Enter your information and click on Continue. You will need to create a strong password. Then hit the button Login. From now on, you'll sign in using this email and password. Let me log in to my account and I'll see you in a few seconds. This is the main page. To create our folded card, we are going to need to use a template. On the left side, click on the button Template. In the search bar, type Print Folded Card and click Enter. As you can see, we are given plenty of choice. If you hover any of the windows, you will see a preview of the templates. Just as a quick note before continuing, please pay attention to the bottom right corner of the template. You will see a crown. This means that you will need to pay to use the template. Only members of the Pro version can use these templates for free. So we are going to focus our attention on the templates that are free to use. Scroll down the list of templates and see what you like. I like that one, it's very cute. When you click on a template, a window appears giving you a bigger preview. To start working, just click on the Customize this template button. This is the workspace. On the very top of the page is the name of the original template project. Let's highlight this text and rename the project. Click Enter when done. 
To see margins displayed on the card, go to File, select View Settings, and choose Margins. The next thing I want to see in the workspace are rulers. Back to File, select View Settings. This time choose Show Rulers and Guides. To place guides on your design, click on any of the two rulers and drag the cursor down or to the right. You can add as many guides as you want and you can change their positions at any time. To remove the guides, drag them all the way toward the rulers. On the left side of the canvas are tools. Think of this area as your toolbox. Just like in Krita, when you click on a tool, additional options appear. Let's try the design tool. We can change the design right here. To go back, use this arrow. To add elements to the card, click on the Elements Tool button. We are given a lot of options. You can search for a particular element by using the search bar. I am going to type tree. The search bar works like a search engine and gives me more options to choose from. I'll select a Christmas tree. If you look closer, you will notice that the search results are neatly organized into categories. We have a category for graphics, photos, frames, videos, audio, and so on. To see all the graphics, click on See All. This function displays all available graphics, including those requiring a pro membership. As you can see, we have that crown symbol again. To get rid of them, there is a trick. Click on the Filter button. At the very bottom, check the free box under the price category. Click anywhere on the workspace to exit this window panel. And voila! The only graphics that are now displayed are the free ones. So let's click on this one. As soon as you click on an element, it appears on the design. No need to drag anything. You can move the element. You can also move it on the next page below. To zoom in and out of the project, use the slider located at the very bottom of the workspace. Each element you bring to your design will be surrounded by a transform box. To modify the size of the image, just drag one corner of the box. To rotate the image, use this button located at the bottom of the transform box. To change the color of the image, activate this color swatch button. Now click on any of these color swatches and test what you like best. If you'd uh, rather create your own color, click on the button Add a new color. Now watch the element as I move my cursor inside the color generator window. It changes as I move. This window allows you to modify the saturation of your color. Use the slider underneath to modify the hue. Finally, you can match colors by using the color picker. Let's say that you want the tree color to match exactly the color of a dog's tongue. 
Activate the picker, find the right spot to pick, and click. You have matched the colors. To decrease the opacity of an element, use the transparency button. Use the slider or type a value directly into the input box and click Enter. Removing elements is a simple. Just click to activate the element you want to get rid of and hit Delete on your keyboard. To modify an existing text, double-click inside the text box. It will highlight the entire text. Now type anything you want. To change the font, click on the down arrow right next to the More Sugar font. This is the active font. Now more fonts are going to appear on the left panel. Here again, watch out for the fonts that have a crown symbol by them. Make sure to not use those. To modify the color of the font, hit the text color button. If you only click on the color swatch, the text color won't change. You need first to highlight the text. Now choose your color and click anywhere on the canvas to see the results. To undo a step, just like in Krita, hit Ctrl plus Z. Time to upload the PNG images I saved earlier. Click on the Uploads tool button. Click on the Upload Files button. Select both PNG images and click Open. You don't need to drag an element into the card. Click on it once and it will appear. Because this is an image we uploaded, we can crop it. Just drag each side of the box toward the image. Repeat the process with the next image. Let's work on the visa first element. Click on the position button. I don't know where is the exact middle of this page. If I click on middle, it will put it right there. Do not click on center because it will place the element at the center of the entire project. Let me undo that. I am going to do the same thing with the next image and move it to the middle. Now remember that you can resize your elements at any time. Move the text around until you find the perfect location. As you move on, you'll find yourself making more and more changes. It's okay, just enjoy the process. To add a text, click on the Text Tool button. Choose the body text option. I'll type uh, by blade and quill. And uh, I'll move uh, the text uh, right next to, to the Christmas tree. Before I continue further, I can see a preview of my work by clicking on that uh, preview window here. It doesn't look bad, uh, but it definitely needs uh, more work, uh, so let's keep going. Click on the X button to close the preview. Moving on to the next page. Double click inside the text box and uh, replace uh, the text uh, with your own sentence. Move the text toward the middle of the page. I'm going to resize my text box quickly and center the text using the alignment button. Now 
We need to get rid of this element and get a new one. First, clear the search. Type mistletoe. Reactivate the filter to only see the three elements. Click on See All. I am going to get a corner border this time. I'll resize it. Hit Ctrl C to copy it and Ctrl V to paste it. Now move the copy to the other side and flip it. The flip button is located right here. Choose Flip Horizontal. To select both elements, click on the first one first, hold the Shift key and select the second one. Select Group. Using these three dots, we are going to duplicate the group. Now move the copy down. As you can see, we cannot flip a group. We need first to ungroup and flip each image one at a time. We'll use the flip vertical this time. Back to our preview. It looks good, but I am not really crazy on the position of my text. So I'm going to correct this quickly and redo a preview after I'm done. Just watch me. All right, uh, that looks so much better. I'm going to keep working and I'll see you in a few seconds. Before to download a project, just know that as you work, Canva automatically saves your work every few seconds. However, I would recommend that you save your work manually every three or five minutes. To save your work, it's a very simple. Go to File and choose Save. That's all you have to do. Time to download the project, go to Share, choose Download. Select PDF Print. We want all pages. Leave the color profile alone. Finally, check the box Flatten PDF. This, they say, will help ensure that it prints properly. Click on Download. If you have a printer at home and you have Adobe Acrobat, let me show you how to set up your printer to print your card. First, make sure to load your printer with a cardstock paper. Click on the Print button. Select your printer, enter the number of copies, set the page sizing and handling to fit. Check the box Print on both sides of paper. Select Flip on short edge, this is very important. Finally, change the orientation to Landscape. Hit Print. Now it's your turn. Go to Krita and create amazing elements to add to your card design. Maybe make a birthday cards, a thank you cards, a get well cards, anything you'd like. There are so many options out there. So have fun creating. I'll see you next time. Until then, thank you for watching my little channel. Au revoir et à bientôt.